Hello everyone and let's check out this very interactive chess game by Emmanuel Lesker this time uh, the second official world chess champion and his opponent is an unknown chess player Gatsby a chess amateur as this was from a chess simul an 18 board chess simul from 1908 in England so Lesker was the reigning world chess champion at that time uh, he took the title from Steinitz uh, in 1894 and then he defended his title for 27 years, the most dominant world chess champion ever. So this was from a simul again. So let's see what happened in this very interactive chess game by Lesker. So he starts the game with e4 and we have the Sicilian defense and already an interesting move. Lesker played b4. And what is this move? Well, this is this is the Sicilian wing gambit. Already not very usual. So c takes on b4 and it is accepted. d4, knight to f6, e5, defending the knight, developing the bishop and developing the queen with defending the knight. And black can also push the pawn and discover attacking the king, maybe. So bishop to d2 and pushing the pawn is out of questions. Knight to c6, knight to f3, also defending the d-pawn, so e6, and castling, developing the bishop, and black is ready to castle. a3, of course the pawn is pinned, so knight to c3, defending the queen, exchanging the knights, and Lesker captured with the rook, so would you capture it on a3 with the queen? Well, black didn't. Black was an amateur, but not that amateur. He played queen to a4. Capturing the pawn would be a terrible mistake. It would be a blunder. Because of rook to a1 and only safe spot. And rook to a2. And black can say bye bye to the queen. So queen is getting trapped. There is no defense. So queen takes rook. Bishop takes queen. It's possible. Uh, okay, so the pawn was a bait and not capturing the pawn, queen to a4, queen to e4, b5 and bishop back. Okay, a black can take the pawn again because of rook to a1. So queen back and then a takes on b4, queen to b6, d5 by Lesker. So he wants to open some lines, takes, takes and developing the bishop bishop to e3 defending the queen and rook over so lesker wants to push the pawn so knight back and simply pushing the pawn rook takes bishop takes queen takes this is attacking the rook and also attacking the queen so defending both of the threats and lesker decided uh, he decided to go for this end game exchanging the queens and this is actually winning for white rook on the seventh they say rook on the seventh is like the pick on the seventh because the rook is going to collect everything on the seventh rank so defending the knight what else actually so you can't actually defend the knight with the rook because of bishop takes on a7 and that would be a disaster so knight goes back and then pushing the pawn and the knight is restricted in this position as you can see developing the knight is not possible like this so capturing the pawn is also possible. This pawn is under attack. So rook takes on a7 uh, and then creating a pass pawn. So how to stop that? Actually, it is not that simple. So pushing the pawn, but Lesker is simply creating this very dangerous pass pawn. So knight to c6, but simply pushing the pawn. Okay, black is developing the knight, but Lesker is pushing the pawn. The pawn is rolling down the board. So attacking the rook, defending the rook, and now some interesting tactical ideas is emerging in this position. What would you do if you had the white pieces? There is a very strong move. So first, actually, Lesker played rook to c8. So black can't, of course, block with the knight. Black has to block with the bishop, and this move is forced. Because if you take the rook, we take back and promote the queen. Okay, so this is the position. I asked that question at the wrong time, I'm sorry. So this is the position, it is white to move and win. White has a very strong move in this position. Some very interesting, beautiful tactical ideas is emerging after this move. Uh, what would you do if you had white pieces? So if I give you 
Uh, five seconds. Uh, can you guess the next move for white? So let me wait for five seconds. If you need, you can also pause the video. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I hope you have seen this amazing move by Emmanuel Lesker, which was the top engine move. Okay, so this is the move. Bishop to a7 by Lesker. A very beautiful move. And this is a very nice defender elimination move. So knight takes bishop is forced because whatever you do, for example, if moving the rook, we take the rook, promoting the queen. If rook takes rook, we take the rook, promoting the queen. So this is forced. But then simply eliminating the defender and capturing the rook. And okay, what else? So knight to c6, defending the rook and planning to push the pawn, promoting the queen. Black castled, but technically, okay, you can push the pawn and promote the queen and that is winning very easily for white. So if pushing the pawn, knight takes, rook takes and that is very easily winning for white, of course. But technically, there is a better move in this position. And did you see that move? What would you do? <laughs> it is very simple. Okay, Emmanuel Lesker captured the knight and black resigned. Because of this very simple uh, possible continuation, capturing the rook, eliminating the defender again, and then pushing the pawn and promoting the queen, and white easily wins. So I hope you have seen bishop to a7 and then rook takes knight on c6. Those moves were important to see. Uh, okay, so I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game, and I hope to see you next time with more beautiful interactive chess games from the chess history. Stay safe, take care and bye bye.